Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you guys my March favorites. Um, I apologize first of all for being MIA for a really long time. Um, to me, one month is a pretty long time because I have been frequently posting, but a lot has been going on in my life and I finally have like my life back together again and I just kind of lost myself at the beginning of the month, but I found myself again. It's just when you kind of like go in a black hole when things aren't going well for you, you kind of feel like you don't want to be posting videos because you're not feeling good about yourself because obviously in social media people are not going to share the negative things in their life unless they're ready to do it and I'm just not ready to share that right now but if you maybe in the next few weeks or the next few months I'll share it with you guys but it's just right now I'm not comfortable talking about it um, but I'm going to go on with my March favorites I'm sorry the mood was just like dark there for a second but that is life and I'm just going to keep it real with you guys I was going through a really tough time this month but um, these things in March have kept me happy and these are just my favorites. Um, I try to find favorites obviously that I haven't mentioned before. I know it's really difficult because when you do a monthly favorites, it's hard to find new products to talk about all the time because if I like something, I'll keep using it and I won't keep repurchasing something new unless I find something new and I'll share it with you guys that I like. So let's. most of my favorites are like beauty and like movie slash song related. So let's go on with the um, favorites video. So. The, most of, like all my beauty products are all um, lip products because I'm like obsessed with like my lips right now because I like to experiment with different lip colors plus I also am like really lazy with like having to lip line and everything else so I just want to keep it simple so the first thing I've been loving are the is the NYX soft matte lip cream in the color Milan um, I love this color It's the first soft matte lip cream I ever bought so I love it and I already bought a back of it from the NYX store so let's see if I can swatch it for you guys so you can see it's really moisturizing. I like it. It's not long lasting at all though, but they apply it really nice. So that's the color right there. Hopefully you can see that. But it's a really nice, um, I'd say it's almost like almost like a hot pink, but like a muted mauve hot pink. So that's what it looks like. And it, on my skin tone, it comes off very bright and I like it because on the days where I'm super lazy to like put my makeup on, um, I at least do my eyebrows, put on mascara, and I put this on, and it literally looks like my face is put together. So that's why I like it, and that's again, that's a color. Uh, the next lip product I'm loving, um, I got it from London from Boots, but I'm pretty sure you can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart 2 here in Canada. But it's the Boots Number no. Seven High Shine Lip Crown in the color Delicate Pink. I've talked about this so many times before, like I mentioned it before. I know I did. So this is the color. Um, this is what it looks like. Hope you guys can see that. I'll swatch it for you too. It's super moisturizing. Um, I'd say it's more like on a baby pink sort of side. It's moisturizing. It's not long lasting. It's easy to apply. This actually came in like a pencil form before, but since I use it so much, it's flat now. And it's not self sharpening, unfortunately. Um, that's just the way it is. But that's the color right there. So it's a baby pink. And as a sheer finish, it's not like um, complete medium or like full like look, but it's a sheer to medium coverage. And then the first one, the soft matte lip cream is completely opaque, but obviously when it comes off your lips when you like eat and whatever, it starts to fade, so you have to reapply this throughout the day. Same thing with this. I, my, I don't mind reapplying my lipsticks or lip products because I find joy in it, so I don't mind it. I don't mind the long wearing stuff either, but it's just, it makes my lips too dry, so that's why. Uh, the next colors, um, these are all duos. I always wear these together. I never wear them by themselves, really. So there's two. So the first one is the Lancome Color Design Lipstick in Natural Beauty. And the formula is the cream formula. This is what the color looks like. It's a really like brown type of nude. I'm actually wearing it right now. This Actually, this lip comb I'm wearing right now. It's a nice nude color. Let me swatch this for you as well. That's the color right there. Hope you guys can see that. Um, it's a really... I want to see. It's more like a brown nude. It's... On the more brown side, it's a lot more warmer slash cool, and I like it. It's moisturizing. Um, obviously, it's not long lasting because it's a cream finish. It's I would say it's like a between a satin and like a luster finish, like from Mac. That's what the color looks like. And with that, I wear this Buxom lip gloss in the color Ava. Uh, so that's what that Buxom lipstick lip gloss looks like. I like it because when you lay it on top, it gives you this look. So that's what my, is on my lips right now. And I'll try to swatch the Ava one beside for you so you can see it. But I'm not going to put it on top because you can see it like right here. But that's the Ava lipstick. And it's more like, it looks like um, NARS Deep Throat uh, blush, if you've seen that before. So it's a light pink, more like almost like NARS Orgasm, but like a lighter color. So it's sheer. And I love these Buxom lip, lip glosses because they give you that nice 
tingly feeling without making your lips feel too dry because I know that peppermint um, feeling on your lips, it actually dries out your lips. Peppermint oil dries out lips. It's not moisturizing at all. This, when you pair it with the um, Lancome Color Design Lipstick in Natural Beauty, it's gorgeous. Like, literally, look at this. Like, who doesn't want these lips? They're so good. A uh, next duo that I've been loving is this is a MAC lipstick. It's funny because I haven't mentioned MAC lipsticks in a really long time. It's just like, it's something that I haven't really, like, gone back to. I don't know why, but I've really been, like, my favorite lipsticks to wear are Lancome and Makeup Forever. There's just something about Makeup Forever lipsticks that I'm obsessed with. Uh, so this is the MAC lipstick from the Ellie Golding collection. I'm not sure if it's still available online because I honestly don't shop at MAC a lot anymore. And the reason why I got this is because I love Ellie Golding and her music, so I wanted to support her MAC collection. So this is the color Only You. That's what the color looks like. It's a nice like muted pink. It's a mauve, mauve pink type of color. Let me swatch it for you guys. It's a nice, it almost comes off like a coral on your lips. It's like a pink coral um, on, on the hand there, right there. So you can see that swatches. Where is it? Right here. It's a nice sheer finish. It's a cream sheen. That's the finish. And the thing I love about this lipstick, it has like the Ellie Golding Her Triangle like logo like on the actual lipstick. It's sad because when I use it all, I can't see that logo anymore. And I love the packaging. It has like her nice Ellie Golding logo, which I think is really cute. And then with that um, lipstick, I wear this Buxom lip gloss again. Um, it's a full-on lip polish from Buxom, and it's the color Destiny. So it's this actually, it, uh, this one basically is NARS Orgasm. The other lip gloss, the Ava one, it's more like a dusty version of NARS Orgasm, whereas this one actually looks like NARS Orgasm in the bottle. So it has like gold shimmer in it, so I'm going to swatch it right beside it. Let me see, you can see that. So it's like right there, it's kind of hard to see, sorry. But um, it's sheer again, obviously because it's a lip gloss, it's not like a full opaque lip gloss like some lip glosses are. And layered on top of it is gorgeous, I'm going to try to layer it on top of um, the Ellie Golding lipstick so you can see how it looks. It's going to be a little bit difficult, hold on. Let's apply that. Yeah, basically makes it a little bit shimmery and has that gold shimmer in it because that lipstick doesn't have the gold shimmer in it. And that's what it looks like, so you can kind of see that. It's really really nice I love it so that's all the lip products that I have uh, that are in my favorites and now moving on to another beauty product which is toothpaste I know it's super random that I'm mentioning toothpaste but like I'm an avid Starbucks drinker like I love Starbucks lattes Starbucks frappuccinos I'm mostly into the lattes frappuccinos not so much but like I noticed that my teeth have been getting like brown or like you know from the latte because I don't drink it with a straw I actually drink it like with the cap on and then you drink it and with that it stains your teeth so I wanted to get um, a toothpaste that would whiten my teeth because I have used Crest white strips before but I heard that through my dentist that it's not really good for you like the best formula for the Crest white strips is like the sensitive one because it's very gentle whereas like the ones that are available out in the market that's like super strong like at home like Crest white strips they're actually very damaging to your enamel and it actually weakens your teeth so I don't want to do that. So I want to go with something that was like a little bit more gentle in a way. So this is the Colgate Optic White Platinum High Impact White. It makes your uh, teeth four shades visibly whiter, and in this in the flavor Glistening Mint. So um, it's actually just a pure white toothpaste. It's kind of hard to show you, but it's a pure white toothpaste. Um, it doesn't lather very well. Like you know when you brush your teeth, like usually there's like foamy stuff because it lathers. This doesn't really lather. It kind of brushes your teeth. Um, I have an electronic toothbrush. I'm in the market for a new electronic toothbrush because right now I have one from like I think it was like 2005. I got it. It's from Sonicare. So like if you have any like advice for any good electronic toothbrushes that you can charge that has a charging dock, please let me know because I'm in the market for a new one and I'm really like excited to buy a new electronic toothbrush because I haven't got one in like years. Um, so this toothpaste actually worked well on my uh, teeth. Like I saw what my teeth looked like. I should have done like a before and after like what my teeth looked like. But like I see right now, you can see that. Hopefully there's nothing in my teeth, that'd be embarrassing. Um, that my teeth are actually whiter. I don't know about four shades lighter, but I do notice that my teeth are a lot whiter now, which I like because I had too many lattes. Like, I was actually staining my teeth. I'm just like, shoot. Seeing people drink Starbucks lattes with the straw is just so weird to me. So I'm like, I don't think I want to do that. I'll just like buy whitening toothpaste and just brush my teeth to not have that stain on my teeth. I know some people drink coffee with the straw so they don't stain their teeth because red wine, uh, pop, 
uh, coffee, lattes, that sort of thing. Anything that's like dark liquids going into your mouth can stain your enamel, which I don't want. So I want to keep my teeth as white as possible and as gentle as possible that I can do at home because I'm not all for the whole damaging my enamel because your enamel, you can't rebuild your enamel. Once it's gone, it's gone. So thank you. Not thank you. Well, actually, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Colgate, for helping to whiten my teeth because my teeth, I can still eat ice cream and, like, other things that are cold so it doesn't, like, hurt my enamel. So thank you so much for that. Okay, so next product is some jewelry. Um, I do want to show you pieces of clothing that I love, but right now they're in the wash. But I can describe them to you. But when you go to Express, they're Portofino shirts. I love them. I have so many of them. I have, like, several different colors. I have, like, a light pink one. I have a white one with black polka dots. I have an army green one, I have a hot pink one, did I say that? I can't remember. And I think I have a blue one, I can't remember, but like I'm obsessed with those Portofino shirts and they're so versatile for because they're perfect for work and they're also appropriate to go out at night depending on how you accessorize it and how you dress it up with like different um, pieces. So I'm obsessed with Express Portofino shirts, so that is a fashion favorite. Other fashion favorites are these bracelets from Gorgiana Griffin. Um, I'm not sure if you guys heard that brand before, but I have mentioned them before because I have talked about their jewelry. But I'm obsessed with them. These three pieces I wear very, very often. Like, you'll see them on my wrist. Um, I'm not wearing them right now, but I'll show them what they look like on my wrist. The first one um, is this, I believe it's, I'm not sure what, it, it's a cuff, but I can't remember the name of it. But I learned this from Chriselle Lim, or um, the Chriselle Factor. And I saw this bracelet that she wore, and I was obsessed with it. So it kind it kind of looks like a band-aid in a way. Like, do you know like the perforated part of a band-aid? Um, it looks like it and I thought it was very unique and different. I like wearing jewelry pieces that are different than what t people typically wear. Like something that's like mainstream. Like as you guys know, if you follow me for a long time, I don't do mainstream things. I try to do things different than everybody else. If it is something that's the same as everyone else, I try to put my own spin on it because I like to be different. Um, so here's what the bracelet looks like. I actually have another one of this, so I can wear two of them at the same time, like as like cuffs on either hand. But I haven't done that yet. But I have another one of this. I love it so much. Um, it's 18 karat uh, gold dipped, I believed. So um, these are not cheap at all. They range from these bracelets I got. They range from I believe it was I always got them on sale. So they range from sixty dollars to one hundred and fifty Canadian. So that is how much they cost. I think it's also American too. I can't remember, but like I love it. It's so nice. Like it's literally so perfect. I'm obsessed with this, and I wear this a lot. And I always get a lot of compliments on this bracelet. Uh, next bracelet is an arrow cuff, and I love this because um, not because the TV show Arrow. Like I love the show Arrow. Like Stephen Amell is like so cute. Like. Like, he's so cute. Anyways, um, this arrow cuff, uh, I love it so much. i worn it, like, so many times, and I love the idea of wearing an arrow around your wrist, because it's kind of like being hit by Cupid or being hit by love, and you got struck by an arrow, so this arrow, like, wraps around you, so you're going to be, like, loved. I know it's kind of a weird concept, but, like, that's kind of, like, what I'm thinking when I wear it. So, like... Um, I try not to bend the metal, bend the jewelry a lot, because you can actually bend it to fit your, um... um to fit your wrist, but I don't recommend doing it too much because I had an experience with this next bracelet where it got damaged. So what I'd like to do is I just like to wear it on my wrist like this. So you open it up to put it on your wrist. So I gotta slide it on and then just press it a little bit just to lock it in. And it's gorgeous. Like look at that. It's so pretty. And I love it. And I love that I don't mind mixing metals because I do have this horseshoe um, Lucky Charm thing from my friend Ellie from Montreal. She gave that to me from Pandora and it, I don't mind it with it, so it looks really cute. I like that. So that's what that looks like. Let me just take it off. I gotta like push it apart a bit because my hands don't fit over this. I know um, some some people in different cultures, they, have brace, they wear a lot of bracelets or bangles a lot, so they're used to having their hand go over the jewelry, but my hand's not used to it, so I gotta like mold the jewelry so like it fits my hand. Uh, next is this tribal looking cuff. It's so unique and different and I just love it. And when I first got this bracelet, um, I kept bending it so it would fit around my wrist and then I actually broke it one time because these little pieces, is kind of, I'm not sure if you can see it, but like these little triangles, the parts where the triangles meet up, it's very small and can actually break very easily. 
So their customer service for Georgiana Griffin is has been amazing. I told them about my situation, I took pictures of it, and they sent me a brand new one. So this is my second one of this bracelet. Um, I've only had one of these, but this is the second one that they sent me where they repaired my bracelet because the first one I didn't know how to wear properly. So they um, I shipped it to them and they fixed it for me, which I really appreciate because not many come. It, it was also free shipping for me as well to like have them repair it because I didn't know that. So they had really great customer service. So I highly recommend them. Um, as for duties, I don't think I didn't have to pay any duties for it, so it was okay. Just for my fellow Canadians out there. So the way to wear this bracelet, you have to leave the bracelet the way it is, like right here. So what you do is you slide it with the open side on the side of your wrist, and then you turn the bracelet around and you wear it like that. So that's what that looks like, and it stays open on the other side, like this. So that's how you wear it. Sometimes when you wear it, it's to what turns around. I don't mind when it turns around because like it's natural, you can't control it. Don't recommend bending it to completely go around your wrist because um, this bracelet is very sensitive and it can break very easily, especially because the metal is like really soft. Even though it is gold dipped, it can um, break really easily because of the way these triangles are connected to each other. They're not connected in a thick point. It's very thin, like literally like a triangle, like at that point, that is how it's connected. So it's like literally several triangles going all the way around. But I'm obsessed with this bracelet and we just wear them all together with you so you can see. Um, usually I just wear these two together. So I wear the arrow and the tribal looking one together. And this is what it looks like. I like obsessed with it. It looks so cute. So I always wear these two together or sometimes I would wear one only but most of the time I wear these two together. And the next one, sorry, it's like hard to take off. And this one, I always wear it on its own because it's so big and significant. I don't want other ones to be with it because this will overpower it. So I just wear it like this. You guys seen it in my videos before and I'm just like literally so obsessed. These are like my go-to pieces when I want to wear jewelry on my wrist. And I always wear my jewelry on the right side of my right side of my arm. I never wear it on my left because on my left I have my watch. And I feel like if I wear my jewelry with my watch, it's going to make that sound that... Um, it's gonna make a weird sound and plus it damages your jewelry and your watch because they're hitting each other and I don't want to do that and plus I don't want my left arm to be so heavy already because I already have the watch I don't need to add additional pieces to it so I just wear them on separate hands I know some people on Instagram or social media they wear the watch and the jewelry in the same hand but it looks aesthetically like nice it looks nice but it's not honestly in real life it's not practical to wear because it's too heavy and like I don't want my pieces to be hitting each other and it's just it's just not me and I like to wear it separately so watch on my left arm and on my right arm I wear all my jewelry so the last fashion favorite of mine is actually a pair of shoes so these are the pair of shoes um, they're slip-ons that I got here you can see they're slip-ons from Paris um, I've always wanted like a slip-on sorry my, my shoes are really dirty I actually wear them a lot and I need to clean them but I love these type of slip-ons because they're super comfortable um, and I didn't pay too much money for it. I believe I paid around $30 Canadian for it, which I'm like, I don't mind that because that's a pretty decent price for a pair of shoes like this. Um, I got these in a random store in Paris. I can't remember the name of it, but like, I can already see like, this wrinkle stuff on the elastic part of the shoe because I wear it so much. <laughs> but yeah, I'm obsessed with them and I, I actually got inspired to get shoes like this because I saw a pair of shoes that was designed by Kate Spade that looked like these, but it's like all gold all gold and it was snakeskin instead of this one because this is black with like brushed gold um, like snakeskin looking type of thing obviously it's not real it's just like you know for effect but like I'm obsessed with them and they go with like a whole bunch of different outfits even though I'm such a girly girl I'm like loving this right now like it's perfect for the spring summertime especially like when you need when you're like um, when it's cold at night and you have to wear something like this or if you want something during the day that's casual it looks really cute so obsessed and um, just a tip I don't wear my bare foot in this I actually wear um, what is it called those special socks like they're nude and then they are literally they go up to here on your foot and they're kind of like ballet flat type of socks so those are the type of socks I wear with this because I don't want my bare foot to be in this because it damages the shoe a lot faster and I want to keep this for as long as possible because it's from Paris and it looks so nice okay so moving on to my uh, TV show favorites um, I'm so happy to announce this. I'm like so excited. I'm like obsessed with Scandal. So the beginning of March when I was feeling really down about myself and just like my well-being, I watched Scandal to distract me. So I actually am caught up on all seasons of Scandal. I actually am caught up to the TV so I'm literally so obsessed with Scandal. Um, if I were to choose between Jake or Fitz, 
I would choose Jake, but I think on some times in mind, like you know how sometimes when you're on your period you kind of crave like a bad boy? That I would choose Fitz, but to marry, I would totally choose Jake. That's just me though. I'm just like, oh, Jake or Fitz, Jake or Fitz. Jake to marry, and then Fitz is just like, I don't know, he's just like a bad boy. He's just kind of sexy to me. But anyways, there's that. I'm obsessed with Scandal, and oh, love it. Um, next show I'm loving is uh, Dancing with the Stars. It just started up again, so I'm like super excited. Um, so far, I'm rooting for the male model. I can't remember his name, but the male model that was used, the deaf uh, male model that used to run American Dress Model, but now he's on the show. I'm rooting for him, and also rooting for the guy in Boys to Men. He is so good. Like, oh my god. Like, I know, like, He's a singer and boy bands have like a dance and stuff, but he's such a good quick learner and he literally looks like a dancer right beside Lindsay, which is crazy. And the other model, I can't remember, I don't know why I can't remember his name, but the guy, the guy that's with Peta, uh, he's so good too. Like you can, they look like dancers and I love it when the celebrities look like dancers and it's just like, ah, so exciting. Like I'm obsessed with that show. Um, what else is a favorite? Um, movies. I don't have any movie favorites to be honest with you. Um, I really want to see Zootopia. I saw Deadpool. I don't really like Deadpool. Um, but I'm really, I really want to see my Big Fat Greek Wedding because I love the first movie. I have the DVD. Um, and I love the movie so much that sometimes me and my brother would actually quote the movie because we love it that much. So like I'm excited to see the second one. I know it's out in theater now but I need to go out and see it. So yeah. Um, that is my March favorites video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what your favorites are down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you guys later. Bye!